isolating or isolating? You see what I did there? Do we just isolate or do we isolate? The Apostle Paul was well acquainted with isolation. I mean, at various times, he was in various types of jails. He didn't just go to a jail once and that was it. But he also spent time in house arrest, uh, which again, isn't probably like you and I being in our lounge room. I think it was a lot more stark than that, but still better than being in prison. So he experienced all sorts of different isolation, but he led the churches so well from isolation. And I think that's our opportunity. That's the opportunity Bobby and I have, but really it's the opportunity we all have is to lead the church so well during this time, not drawing back, stepping up to the plate. And so Paul wrote these epistles, some of them from prison, uh, always from a place where he was distant or isolated from whichever specific church he was talking to. And in those epistles, there were certain themes that were repetitive that the Apostle Paul spoke about. And the first thing was his epistles always had a challenge. He brought challenge to people's life. Do you like challenges? Are you up for a challenge? <laughs> I think competitive people love to be challenged. When I grew up, I grew up with Paul de Jong. Most of you know Pastor Paul de Jong from New Zealand. And he and I were like the ultra competitors. We would turn anything into competition, like super strong peppermint mouthwash. Who can spray it the most times on your tongue? <laughs> without, you know, your tears would be coming out. Same thing with eating chilies, actually. Uh, who could eat the rawest chilli? Uh, who could eat the most of it? I mean, everything was turned into a competition. You say, well, we shouldn't be com competitive. We're believers, but not according to Paul. The Apostle Paul, he used examples like the athletes, where he said many run, but only one wins the prize. And he was encouraging everyone to run to win that prize. So not all competition is bad, depends where it's coming from in us. And some things should never be a competition. But I do pray we will always be up for a challenge. And I think we have the opportunity right now to really bring challenge to our church, challenging them not, not through uh, condemnation, but through exhortation, which is to inspire. You know, the scripture says that even speaking the word of the Lord, prophecy, exhortation, edification, and comfort. And so let's always be exhorting others around us. But first, what challenge do we need to take up in our own lives? What is it that we just need to challenge ourselves? 